Hello and good evening. My name is Sophie Roberts and I welcome you to the 2011 Intellectual Property Magazine Awards currently being held at the Grand Connaught Rooms in London. The focus of tonight's ceremony is to draw attention to those who our prestigious judging panel believe have demonstrated excellence in IP throughout the year and in several competitive categories. Our winners have come from firms and organisations from all across the world and IPM wanted to catch up with a few of them to see how they were feeling following the announcement. Um, so Annalena, as the only in-house IP lawyer shortlisted, were you surprised to have won? Yes, I was because um, I mean, everyone on the list are uh, very well experienced and I thought I didn't see myself as uh, in a special just because I was in-house. So I, I thought that was actually quite unexpected, to be honest. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, we, like to, we like to surprise. Um, um, and uh, just one more thing. Um, you were actually commended by the judges for the implementation of a new domain name strategy. Yeah. How important do you, do you feel that that is now um, in, the current, in the current situation? It's extremely important. Uh, first of all, I think uh, having an understanding of the domain name area uh, is quite complicated. Not only understanding the legal complexity, but also the um, technological complexity. Uh, and it, now, since we've been able to have a new procedure, centralizing everything has uh, be, uh, has uh, given us the opportunity to s actually uh, understand what we need to do and uh, having a good understanding of... Um, I'm bumping, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's like uh, before when it was sen uh, decentralized, yeah. it was too complicated for each and every individual on the market company to understand what need, need, really needed to be done. We need to, to get this centralized so, so we have a... a, 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 a this is the word I, I'm missing. Um, uh, enough cases so we can actually gain experience, experience. Yeah. Uh, right. uh, to, to, to really run this and uh, to be efficient and have a strong domain name portfolio uh, strategy. So that was really about the understanding and I think that was the most important thing. Fantastic, great. Well congratulations again. Thank you. And thank you for taking some time out with us just now. No, that's fine. Okay, thank enjoy you. the rest of your evening. I will. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, so I'm now joined with Fran Neffler from PPL, who has recently just been awarded our C CEO of the Year Award. How does it feel to have won? Fantastic. I have to say I genuinely never expect or look for recognition in the world, but it is fabulous to me as well. Because it just makes you feel that you've done some good for yeah. lots of other people and that you are not completely wasting your time. So absolutely fantastic, genuinely. From the response that we've had, I don't feel that you've been wasting your time at right, all. So, <laughs> um, so, so far in your career, what's been your proudest achievement? I think probably in recent years, bringing the performer community in the record industry together for the first time in history. Um, and just, um, just my final question actually, um, I wanted to know what advice um, you would have for somebody who's starting their own business um, mm -hmm. when it comes to considering IP. Right. You have to have a genuine feel for and empathy with IP because I feel very passionately that there lies the future, mm -hmm. for example, of UK PLC and success or otherwise of the British economy because we are, you know, I'm Czech by birth but I feel very British and very, very loyal to this country which I love and I think we are good at literature, poetry, films, fashion, music, mm. movies, you know, all those yeah. things and it's all, I call it the products of the heart and the mind and we are brilliant but it has to be paid for. The outside world needs to understand that it doesn't come for free. And the people behind it, the creators, do deserve to have a livelihood and get paid fairly. Not excessively perhaps, but fairly. And to work towards that and to support that, I think anybody who's lucky enough to work in that environment should feel excited, passionate, 
and very proud and very lucky. It's a fantastic privilege to work, work in that. Fantastic. Oh, Good. Well, uh, hopefully a sentiment that um, our viewers will take yeah. home. Um, so, Fran, thank you very much for thank your time you. just now. And congratulations thank again. Well, and thank you very much once again. Enjoy the rest thank of your you. evening. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm joined now with Sam Tamera, who has come here on behalf of Renfri and Sega, who are walking away tonight with the IP Law Firm of the Year in an emerging market. How do you feel to have won this award tonight? I'm speechless. Uh, you know, as Laura said uh, during the speech that, you know, making it to the shortlist is an achievement. So I was very happy to be here, being a part of the shortlist. But of course, winning the award is an uh, altogether different feeling. I really feel very, very happy. And uh, thanks to the magazine and the judges for selecting us for this award. So what do you feel that you um, attribute your success to tonight? Uh, actually, it's uh, the teamwork. I mean, we have a you know history of about 185 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a very strong team. And we all put our heads together and, you know, fight the, you know, the, way, the best possible manner for the clients. And are you enjoying your time in London? I arrived this morning. I do intend to enjoy my time <laughs> in London. <laughs> And uh, I, I look forward to the next three, four days I'm going to be here. Fantastic. Sightseeing and meeting clients and having a nice time all over. Excellent, excellent. Well, congratulations again and thank you very much. Thank you so much for, for your time, time just now. Yeah, thank once you. Again, again. You're welcome. So I'm now joined here tonight with uh, Sonia Santas and Alejandro Angulo from Grau Angulo, who are tonight walking away with the trademark um, law firm of the year. So how do you feel to have one? Um, if you're proud. Yeah, yeah. very proud. So, uh, we, we were speaking with one of your colleagues. Uh, to be honest, um, a little bit unexpected because they, they were, you know, like big firms and uh, international ones. And, you know, it's, it's very encouraging for, for us, like a boutique firm, just receiving these kind of international awards. Because yes, I think we, we have uh, the, the, the sole Spanish law firm here. So yeah, 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 that's yeah. very good. That's very good. That's one of the reasons we are very proud of that. Well, my next question was, were you surprised? So, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, not that we don't deserve it, of course. Yeah, you know, of course. We, we, we knew that we were the best. Yeah. <laughs> no, really, um, it, it was unexpected and, and very, very nice and, and very encouraging, to be honest. Yeah. And were you uh, pleased with the judge's comments? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And I guess that's, you know, they are coming from all the peers or mm -hmm. clients and things like that. So. It's always good to see, you know, the, what people think about us, and the comments were, were very, very interesting. And how will you be celebrating? Oof. Well, I'm not no, because I have to leave very early in the morning tomorrow. That's usually about that five o'clock. But um, we'll yeah. have some we'll, drinks yeah. probably. Yeah. We'll find somewhere to have a have a have a glass of wine. We'll find a way to do that. <laughs> to celebrate. Okay. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for your time, and congratulations again. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm now joined with Dan McCurdy from Ally Security Trust, who is walking away tonight with our CEO of the Year Award. Dan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. Thank you very much. <laughs> I feel very honored to uh, have the uh, receive the award. Yeah. Thank you. And can you tell me um, what has been the proudest moment of your career so far? Uh, the proudest moment was realizing what intellectual property actually was 25 years ago when I got a phone call asking if I wanted to be the manager of intellectual property policy for IBM. I said, absolutely. I hung up the phone, got out a dictionary, and looked to see what intellectual property was. Uh, so I think it was a pretty good decision. Pretty good decision? Yes. And, 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 and did you know that um, years later you'd be standing here receiving the CEO award? Uh, what I knew was that nobody else wanted the job because <laughs> they were all business people who knew nothing about intellectual property. And up to that point, I had been totally bored in most every job I'd ever had. And one thing I can say about intellectual property, uh, because of great magazines like Intellectual Property Magazine, is that it has become increasingly uh, well-known uh, and increasingly a huge element of, uh, of success of businesses around the world. Uh, would I have imagined that I would get a CEO of the Year Award? No. But here we are today. Here we are today. Um, Thank you. But this isn't the only um, award that uh, Dan can take credit uh, for this evening. You also, um, you're also walking away with the Innovative IP Strategy Design or Execution Award. Um, the judges um, called your approach innovative in terms of the market. In your own words, how important do you think this is now? Increasingly, uh, uh, this business of investors 
purchasing patents for the sole purpose of enforcing them against operating companies has become a huge problem, costing industry billions of dollars a year. Uh, most people have been focused on how to make money uh, by exploiting these patents against operating companies. Uh, our company helps companies to minimize their exposure uh, to uh, this particular practice of buying patents for the sole purpose of enforcing them. Uh, and in that sense, uh, I think it is innovative. And uh, you know, to give you an idea, uh, at the time that we created uh, the uh, Allied Security Trust, uh, there were uh, something on the order of about 200 non-practicing entities in the world. Mm -hmm. There are now more than 600, uh, only seven years later. And so, active. And, and very, very active. Yeah. So uh, innovative, yes, uh, and we hope uh, increasingly useful. Fantastic. Well, let's, let's hope that it will be that way. And uh, just my final one, how will you be celebrating? Uh, I will down. be celebrating my, my colleagues uh, from the trust, uh, Mihir Patel and, and Linda Beal. Uh, uh, Linda is a great lover of champagne. So I think that we're going to find an excellent bottle of champagne tonight. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to notify uh, the 21 members of the trust of this great honor that you've bestowed upon us, and uh, and we will toast you and ourselves. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you very that. Much. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. Well done. Thank you very much. Um, I'm now joined with Toby Hedden from Bowen, Lakin and Paisner, who is walking away tonight with our Copyright Law Firm of the Year Award. Toby, how do you feel to have won this award? Uh, well, I think we're, we're both Simon and I. Simon is not here at the moment. We're very, very happy. Um, it feels like it's uh, a recognition for us of it's been two years so far of uh, hard work yeah. um, and a lot of careful thinking, so it's, it's nice to receive that recognition. Were you pleased with the, the judges' comments um, for specifically focusing on a lot of the good work you've been doing over the last year? Very pleased, Sophie, yeah. very pleased. In particular, the fact that they acknowledged that we'd kept cool heads, which is something we like to think we do, as most lawyers <laughs> do, but it was very nice to, to hear that as well. <laughs> I think so. We try to. We try to. Um, and were you surprised at all? Um, well, it's always a surprise because yeah. I think this year in particular there's been so many cases on copyright and I suspect there's been a lot of strong contenders so we certainly didn't uh, anticipate that we were going to win but we felt we had a strong hand to play so pl pleasantly surprised. Good. Well, this was um, another one of our fiercely contested um, old, um, categories. So how will you be celebrating then? Well, I've been celebrating in there with a few glasses of champagne already. Good work. Um, we'll obviously report to the phone. I'm sure they'll be pleased for us. Yeah. Um, but uh, there won't be much time for celebration because uh, the next stage for us is to go to the Supreme Court on this case on one uh, particular point. So I think you've got to knuckle down and, and, and crack on with the work again. Indeed, indeed. Well, congratulations Thanks again. Thank you very much, thank you very much for your time. Thank and you. uh, enjoy the rest of your celebrations. I will. Thank you. Thank you. I'm now joined with Mark Ridgway and Q Evans from Allen & Overy, who are standing here tonight with our awards for Patent and IP Law Firm of the Year. So tell me, how do you feel to have won these awards? Well, truly fantastic, actually. We're really pleased with the result. And we think it's, a, it's, a, it's clearly is a great award to win from, from the magazine, such as read by so many people within the industry. And we do feel it's a true recognition of the, of the, the journey we have taken in the last few years in building the team and expanding the team and the great results we've had. Mm. And were you pleased with some of the uh, judges' comments? Yes, and I think the, the one regarding the evidence gathering, I think uh, that's, that's something which we particularly pleased with. I, I believe it relates to a case that Mark was working on at Novartis uh, Medivine, so we're very pleased with that. Would you like to, would you like to add to that? I'm not sure it wasn't my case, but anyway, uh, <laughs> the guys here. Very, in theory, it could have been. It could have been, uh, and in which case it's, uh, it's a great honour. Um, the guys here tonight are very, very pleased, obviously. Um, two good awards, some strong contenders out there, uh, and yeah, a lot of hard work for them to it, so it's good. Thank you. Excellent. And um, how are you guys going to celebrate? Well, we're going to go to, um, we won't say the bar, but you, we are. You said champagne on there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, well. We are going to definitely celebrate, and now. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Hopefully you will know. we'll be able to tag along for a few. Um, but congratulations again okay, to, to you both of you. It's been a pleasure thank having you, you here this evening. Thank you. Christopher Stothers joins me now from Arnold and Porter, who is walking away tonight with our Young IP Lawyer of the Year. How does it feel to have won this award? Uh, I'm quite excited and quite surprised, I have to say. Surprised? Yes. <laughs> Why? Was, was it to do with the, uh, the other candidates? I think I, what, what you always assume that you're on a short list, but you'll never make the final, so uh, it's nice. Oh my god, I'm glad that we could, uh, well our judges could uh, make this happen for you this evening. Um, so far in your career then, um, what's been your proudest moment? 
Um, my proudest moment has probably been some pro bono work I've done, um, where it's uh, not been anything to do with IP, but uh, but interesting feeling of actually having some. Mm -hmm. And were you pleased with the uh, the judges' comments tonight? Uh, I thought I thought that was lovely. It was, it was also a good game of trying to guess who the judges were. The judges' comments were anonymous, like the candidates. Yes, yes, they were. They were. But uh, I, th I think I've done a reasonable job at guessing who, who said what. Oh, okay, very good. So, how are you going to celebrate this evening? Um, I have a nine-month-old son, so I think I'm going to be celebrating by going to sleep early oh. for a five o'clock start. You know what? I hear eight hours is completely overrated. <laughs> so uh, you could. You so, could so, he so he tells me. Um, thank you very much, and congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, subscribers, advertisers and sponsors, that concludes our interviews tonight with our winners and from all the team at IPM, I wish you a very good evening and a Merry Christmas.